Hello, boys and girls. Today we're going to be practicing the uppercase Q and P in cursive by using them in words. The first word is Quebec. And so what you're going to do is you're going to make that beautiful oval starting at the top and going around, touching the bottom, coming back up, and then you're going to get the little tail. And then you're going to not connect it to the U next to it, but make that U, Q, U, E, B, E, C. Let, let them be close enough so that the person reading will know that it's in the same word. So let's write now keen. Okay, so we're going to make that oval, do that little squiggly line, and we're going to do U, I, N. Well, if that's Spanish, it's keen. If it's English for a name, it's Quinn. <laughs> um, then I don't even know. I've never even seen this word before. Now I'm wondering if it's Spanish or English. Is it a uh, quito or quito? They should have just written quit or quito. I don't know. So let's do that beautiful oval and then the little Q squiggly and then Q U I T O. So now I'll just for fun, I'll write I quit, although you would not usually capitalize that unless it was at the beginning of a sentence. So now let's write Philadelphia, Pennsylvania using our uppercase P. So we're going to do a little stroke up and we're going to come down and we are going to trace back up and make our P. And now it is not connected to the letter next to it. So Philadelphia, P H I L A D E L P H I A. Oh my goodness, that was the longest word ever. And now we're going to write Pennsylvania, and of course, Philadelphia is a city in Pennsylvania. My goodness, let's go. Let's put a comma in between. So we do that little slant, touch the top, make your line down, trace back up. And now it's not connected to the E. E, N, N, S, Y, L, V, A, N, I, A, Pennsylvania. All right, practice this a couple of times and come back to the next lesson.